Prison Architect 2 was just announced recently and the first reaction of a lot of people was more like I think I like it, but I'm not really sure. Uh, we have to see. And now we got the first video for Prison Architect 2 where they're actually showing a little bit more gameplay, which you can see here in the background. And I will also post the original YouTube link down below in the video description if you want to check it out. And we can finally see why they made one of the biggest decisions in the game, which was the most controversial one. And that was moving from 2D into 3D environment, right? Like a lot of people were just like, man, man, dude, I love the 2D stuff. Why are we going into 3D? And thankfully the video you see here in the background for the first time is actually showing why, because it changes a lot in gameplay. When the first one, well, let's be honest here, when you are building something on a 2D plane, you are limited in what you can do. That's just how it works. With the 3D environment now, things are opening up much more, not just for your guards and your prison you are building, but also for your prisoners to maybe escape from the prison, right? Like one of the things they explain in this video is that cone of view or cone of vision is a very important thing now. And let me just give you an example here. You have a fight starting down on the ground level and Unfortunately, there are no guards there and your other guards are on the first floor of this building, but they don't really see it. They don't notice it because they don't have vision on what is happening. And that is on you because, well, you didn't build your prison accordingly and you didn't prepare for this eventuality. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you can actually now see down below on the ground floor and you have actually vision on what is going on. Or another example they brought is they made some changes to the pipes, as you might remember in the first one, when your prisoners were reaching the big pipes, they could just get a speed bonus with building their tunnels and escape faster from your prison. That still works that way in Prison Architect 2, but now you also have small pipes which you can get later and they cannot utilize that to build their tunnels faster, right? This is another thing they can do thanks to the 3D environment. The same goes with you will have more things to build around your prison walls, right? Like you can now have uh, multiple sidewalks and all that. Like it is really cool to see what you can do thanks to the 3D environment. And I'm really curious to see like how will this be incorporated into how you build your prisons? Because let's be real here for a moment. If you have played Prison Architect 1, you have built some amazing prisons, right? But Let's also be real, especially when you are starting out with Prison Architect, some of the prisons you build are not that elaborated and some are really, really simple, which has to do with the 2D environment. And most of the time they function absolutely well and they're very, very secure because they are very, well, not complex. And now with the 3D environment, you can just go absolutely crazy with the complexity and you might actually want to go complex because, well, your prisoner realize, oh, wait a minute, there is just a thin wall between me and the escape and I don't have to run through a labyrinth of multiple levels and guards. Well, isn't that my lucky day, right? You don't really want to have that anymore in the new prison architect. And I think the idea of going 3D will be pure chaos. It will offer so many more possibilities than it did in the first one. And don't get me wrong, I like the rim world. Well, actually, the prison architect aesthetics, right, with the 2D environment and all that. I always lo loved the charm of the first game and I always felt like, yeah, this is a very cool aesthetic choice. And, well, also gameplay decisions and what they could do back in the day with the game. But nowadays, I'm really looking forward what we players especially can do with that 3D environment. And I'm looking forward to more. Now, as I said, if you want to see the whole video where they are going through the tutorial, you can see it down in the video description. Uh, we'll definitely make a video again about the next episode, which is coming out in a few days. 
and I'm really looking forward for Prison Architect 2 so far. We have to see, of course, more about the game and what Paradox has planned, especially after City Skylands 2. Uh, a lot of people are, let's just say they're not too happy with what is going on with Paradox. And we will see if Prison Architect 2 can actually do it better. So... We will see that in the next video. With that said, please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, we are focusing on strategy games on the mobile under management channel. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.